this is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching. What up? This is Dish Channel Guns coming at you another gun video. Appreciate you watching, like, share, and subscribe. I want to appreciate all my subscribers. I want to appreciate all the information. I appreciate y'all for coming to the video, and I appreciate everything that you do for this channel and everything. I appreciate all the comments and stuff like that. Now, you know, I've been getting uh, questions and stuff. Somebody asked you, do you carry two farms, and they carry two farms and stuff like that. And, you know, to answer that question, uh, I used to. Um, to give you a, uh, a short story, when I first got into farms and stuff, you know, I was very curious and stuff. You know, you know, people, you know, I knew people who was carrying, you know, two farms and stuff like that. And, you know, I first started out carrying two, um, you know, when I first initially got into farms and stuff like that. And, you know, it turned out to me to be a hassle. Um, to my, it didn't make me no more safer and stuff like that. But, you know, what I was doing, I had, I used to um, ankle carry. And, you know, I had a, it was a little small, um, revolver um it was one of the, the little it was a 38 revolver i remember it was a little small 38 revolver that i had and you know i carried it for a while in there then i had a little small um i think it was a kill tech um 380 i had a little small kill tech 380 at one time and i was carrying that in an anchor holster and i had all kinds of anchor holsters i'm to my you know i had some that you know irritated me uh, some that wouldn't stay in the place and when i was wearing pants to my, I was somewhere I had um, sat down and, you know, my pants, my pants were long enough, but for some reason when I sat down, it came up and it raised up and everything and you could see, and, and the farm was exposed. So I told my, I have did that, um, you know, it worked out good for somebody, I told my, but it didn't work out good for me. And, you know, so I stopped that and, you know, another time I was carrying my anchor holster, anchor, anchor holster and um, I, I forgot where I was, we was doing something and I, I was running and you know the snap part, that, you know the, the strap. For some reason, it it, it, it got loose, and the, and the anchor holder fell out. I'm like, you know, I had bad luck with anchor holsters. Uh, to my, I thought to me that was the, you know, as a new gun owner and stuff. When you see these things, whatever, I thought that was the best invention ever. You know, to just carry it you know, in your pants leg, and you don't have to worry about bulges and stuff like that. You know, concealed carry. So I'm uh, talking about, you know, I have carried some of everything. You know, I had carried two farms. I tried other ways. Um, I also had um, a belly band. I know a lot of people see the belly bands and stuff out there. And, you know, I carried that way. That didn't work out too good for me either. I'm, to my, I'm a big guy and everything. So it didn't work out. Maybe it worked out for some, uh, you know, but it didn't work out for me. So, you know, I did some of everything when it came to concealed carry. Now, carrying multiple farms, I'm to my, you know, you know, far as concealed carry, I'm to my in my state, I don't know about some states. I don't know if you have a limit or some have a certain gun tied to their concealed carry, or whatever. But in my state, you know, there's I never seen or heard or su anybody suggesting that there's a limit amount of guns that you can conceal carry. Uh, because nowadays, you know, people are carrying, you know, you have AR pistols and they're carrying concealed up to my in the vehicles or whatever, you know, however you want to look at that extension that way. But, you know, you know, there are some people who carry two farms on. I know somebody who carry one inside the waistband and they pocket carry. Now, but to me, um, you know, I don't think that it's over carry. I'm to my, there's a lot of people who've done it for a long time. I'm to my, that is their preference. Um, I think it's mostly preference. I'm to my, I don't think it make you no more safe. Now, a lot of people know that police officer carries, you know, a farm and then carry a backup gun and stuff like that for their duty purposes and stuff. I understand police officers carry because, you know, they're putting their life in danger all the time. But as a regular citizen, um, unless you're doing something that, 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 that is in a, it's a bad environment 24-7, or you don't have to really be doing that. I'm talking about maybe, you know, you just want to have something extra just in case something happened. And you have something else to rely on. Now, I have read stories where somebody had a backup gun and the first one, you know, they it, something happened, it fell out and they couldn't get to it and they had a second one. Uh, to my, you know, how often do that happen? You know, concealed carry, you have two farms and the, you can't even use the first one and you have to go to a second one. Um, I don't know how, extent, how far that go in this stint, but to me, it's, I think it's personal preference. I think if you train like you're supposed to, um, one is adequate enough, especially with... Um, the high capacity that you can carry now and the multiple magazines and stuff that you can carry. Um, you know, you know, if someone's thinking that, hey, this other one can, you know, be out of get, you know, be out of commission or whatever, well, it failed or whatever the case may be, you know, we can have we got a backup 
pocket gun or 38 or whatever the case may be. Uh, you know, I don't know. I'm talking about, I don't think you want to uh, uh, stretch the imagination when it comes to concealed carry. But for most, for decades, um, I think one adequate enough. I know starting out I had two and everything. You know, I don't know if it's an experiment for some. It could be a, a habit for, for, for many. I'm talking about, but there are people who carry two farms and, you know, they're just one thing that they stick by. Now, you know, a lot of people pocket carry a little small gun and, you know, they probably want to conceal carry or maybe open carry, uh, you know, a, another farm or whatever. But that's fine. I'm talking about, to me, it's personal preference. I'm talking about, I think you can't go wrong either way with one or two and stuff like that. But most of the time, the second one is going to be like a little small pocket pistol, backup gun and stuff like that. You know, police officers carry their duty weapon and they carry a little small backup gun and stuff. So I'm talking about, I don't see nothing wrong with it. But, you know, I don't carry two farms. I'm to my, I feel like with most people, it is a uh, detriment to, to carry one, to, to, to try to carry two. You got a lot of people can't even consider carry one gun, you know, to my consider and carry two. And consider some of the issues that we're going through right now where you have people leaving farms in the bathroom and then you have two guns. And, you know, if you can't remember that you got one gun and you're leaving in re uh, a retail or restaurant or whatever the case may be, you're leaving it in the stalls and stuff like that, uh, carry two for some could be even more uh, frustrating because they can't even forget that they had that one on them. So, like I said before, at the end of the day, if you train and practice with, you know, the one that you have, you should be fine. I think you should be totally fine and stuff with, you know, the amount of uh, rounds that mostly farms carry and stuff, a lot of reliable guns and stuff out there and everything. So, but at the end of the day, it's each day on. I'm talking about if you, you need to carry two, then you can carry two. I'm talking about, you know, this everybody personal preference. I don't think it's no certain standard. Now, there could be some state laws and stuff out there um, limiting people to carry, you know, how many, you know, I guess, how many farms? I'm talking about, I really never heard nobody talk about. That's something that um, I haven't really heard too many people raise issues on it. I've seen articles and stuff on it where you having people carrying, you know, multiple farms and stuff. But I don't think there is no advantage to carrying multiple farms than, you know, over one. I'm talking about, unless you was in a special situation or you in a, you some type of detective or, you know, something like that. Yeah, I can see the reason if you're putting your life in danger every single day, you know, doing stuff like that. But... You know, at the end of the day, I think you're adequate enough with one. But that's why I stress it's best to get out and train and stuff like that. Because if you get out and train with the farm that you have or multiple farms that you are carrying, you know, concealed carry throughout the week, you know, I switch up, carry different farms and stuff like that. So, like I said, get out and train. That should solve the problem. So, um, just want to talk about that a little bit. This is DC Channel Guns, and I'll catch you on the next one. This is DC Channel Guns. Like and subscribe. Thank you for watching.